Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and I've been looking at the app Triller a lot recently. Triller's been around for a few years and is now gaining a lot of attention as an alternative to TikTok. A lot of big TikTok stars have moved over to the app recently and left TikTok. And since the future of TikTok is uncertain, Triller's an app that you should probably start getting familiar with. There's a decent amount of music you can use for videos in the Triller app itself, but there's no easy way to add your own audio or sound in the app. So in this video today, I'm going to show you an easy way to add your own audio to your Triller videos. You don't need to download any apps. You can just do it right in the browser of your phone or computer by going to kapwing.com studio. I'll meet you there and I'll show you how to do it. So like I said, you're going to go to kapwing.com studio and I'll put the link in the description of this video. And this is a free online editor that you can use for a lot of different things. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you how to add audio to your video, but you can use it to edit your own trailer videos from start to finish. So once you get to this page, you can either paste the link to a video or just upload your file. So I'm just going to upload a file I already have. And it will load in there. So our video is uploading and all you have to do to add audio is go over in the toolbar above to the audio tab, click the audio tab, and you can either upload an audio file, so like an mp3 file, or you can paste the link to an audio or video URL. So this is great if you have like a TikTok video or a YouTube video that you want to use the audio from. So I have found on YouTube there's this video that is no copyright music and I'm just going to copy the link to that video and then go back to Kapwing and just drop the link right there. All right, and it should immediately start getting that audio file. Okay, so as you can see, the audio has loaded, and this this audio file is a few minutes long, but my video is only 14 seconds, so I'm going to go in and click Trim Audio to trim this down to the size of the video. So 15 seconds should be good. And then once you're happy with it, you just click Trim Audio. So now the audio is on the video, I'm just going to click done and when you play it, you'll be able to hear the audio. If you want to mute the sound to the, act, to the original video, just click the video and then click edit video. And if you scroll down, you will see mute. So just click mute. So that way only the music is playing and not the original sound from the video. Once you're happy with this, then you just click publish and your video will start processing. All right, so our video is done loading, and if you click download, it will save, and click download again, it'll save this video to your files. So to actually get it to your camera roll, just click that arrow at the top, click the video, and then click the button at the bottom, and if you scroll up a little bit, you can just see save video. So just click that and then it'll actually save it to your camera roll. Then to upload to Triller, go into the app and click the plus button, social. So if you click music video, you're going to have to add one of the Triller clips, the audio clips. So just go to social and then you can see that this, um, icon on the side and videos and you'll see the just the video that you just downloaded and then click done. All right, so then just click shuffle. Cool. Finish. And then just like add your description, your category, and then post and save. You can see on the bottom of the screen right now it's actually loading and trying to publish the video. If you go to your account on your profile, you can see that that video is now published as opposed to being a project. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to our channel for more content creation tips. We'll see you in the next video.